The Notes app gained several new features in iOS 18. Notes now has deeper integration with other apps that adds new functionality. There are also new iPad-only features that use the Apple Pencil. In this video, I'll cover several of the new features, and if you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. The Notes app now can solve math equations using a new feature called Math Notes. You can do things like calculate a group trip, split a restaurant bill, or add up your monthly budget. Math Notes works directly in the Notes app or in the Math Notes section of the calculator. You can even define variables such as vacation equals $1,200, airline equals $1,600, and car rental equals $700. Now you can type in vacation plus airline plus car rental, add the equal sign to get the total. You can even do it with unit conversions. Type what you want to convert and you'll get the result. Apple states that Math Notes is able to solve all the same functions as a scientific calculator. Let's take a look. So as you can see, I set up a new note in the Notes app, and I've listed a vacation, airline, and car rental. And below that, you'll see in lowercase uh, letters, I've typed in car rental plus vacation plus airline. And if I now just add the equal sign at the end, it'll total it up for me. So this is how Math Notes works on iOS on your iPhone, let's take a look at how it works on the iPad. So now I have a note opened on my iPad and I have the amount listed next to each category there. And if I want to solve this equation, I can just hand write out with my Apple Pencil car plus airline plus home, and then if I place the equal sign, it should ask me if I want to solve this equation. I can tap on solve, and there's the answer. So that's how you can uh, write your math notes on the iPad. The Notes app now has the ability to record audio within a note. To record audio, you're going to go ahead and tap on the paper clip icon inside the note. You're going to go ahead and choose record audio. You'll tap on the red button at the bottom of the screen and now you'll see your recording begins and so I'm recording this as as I'm you know talking to you on the video. When I'm finished I'm going to go ahead and tap on the pause button at the bottom and now I can go ahead and tap on Done. And so recording in the Notes app is useful for lectures, meetings, doctor's appointments, you know, if you want to remember something that the doctors told you. And then all of the recordings are automatically transcribed in real time so you can read what you've recorded. So you'll see here where it says Preview. I can tap on that. And now everything I said while I was recording has been transcribed for me. When I'm finished, I can tap on Done. I can also, if I want to, tap Play and listen to the recording. If I want to change the name of the recording, tap on the three dots in the upper uh, right corner. Tap on Rename, and then you can name the recording whatever you want. But this is a really uh, useful feature in iOS 18. I should mention that audio recording is available on the iPhone 12 or newer. And right now, the feature only works in English. If you have notes with multiple headings, now you can collapse those headings to create a more compact note. Any section header can be collapsed, including headings, subheadings, and titles. You just tap on a heading and now tap on the down arrow next to it to collapse it. So as you can see, I have a note and you'll see next to where it says heading, 
a little arrow appears, I can collapse it. So you'll see that it collapses the heading and the subheading within it. I'll tap the arrow again to expand it. I can also tap the arrow next to subheading and it will collapse that. So it just gives you a more compact and more organized view of your notes. For the first time, the Notes app now supports highlighting in color. Apple added five colors, purple, pink, orange, mint, and blue. And so to use the highlighting option, you might think that you want to use uh, the pencil option over here, but that would be incorrect. Just select the portion of text that you want to highlight, tap on the double A. We'll see in the bottom here in the right hand corner uh, a color. Tap on it. Then choose the color that you want. And now you've used the highlighting option. So now they've made it easy for you to highlight your notes with different colors. Adding images or scanned documents to a note has been updated in iOS 18. Tapping on the toolbar allows you to attach a file directly from the Files app, which makes it easier to add documents to your note. You can use it to record audio as well. Previously, you had to copy and paste a file into Notes, which required several steps. So your, the prior options that you had available, such as photo, video, um, you know, scan text, uh, take a photo or a video, those options are still available. But to denote this uh, new functionality, the icon for the tool has been changed to a paper clip icon instead of the camera icon. So if I come down here to the paper clip and tap on it, you'll see all of those options are still available, as well as an option at the top to attach files and to record audio. So if I attach a file, it takes me directly into the Files app where I can choose the option that I need, or I can just tap on what I want. It's going to download it, and it should add it directly to the note. So attaching files has become a little bit easier in iOS 18. Another new option in iOS 18 is that you can add Control Center controls to the lock screen. So with this feature, you can add the option to open the Quick Notes app into one of the slots that was previously taken by the flashlight and camera, giving you option to take a quick note. Previously, to get to that, to get to the Notes app, you had to access it through the Control Center. So I'm on the lock screen right now. I'm going to push and hold on it to take me into the Customize or Edit options. I'm going to tap on Customize and I'm going to choose the lock screen. Once I do, you'll see that the flashlight and the camera are, are in their slots. I'm going to tap the minus so sign next to the flashlight. Now I'll tap the plus sign. Here it gives me a list of all the controls that I can add. I'm going to go ahead and just tap on search controls, and I'm going to type notes. And now I'll have the option for a quick note. I'll go ahead and tap on that. It'll be added to that little area where the flashlight was. I can tap on done. Tap on the lock screen again to come back into the real lock screen. And now if I push and hold on that, it should pop me right into a quick note. So that's an easy way for you to add the quick note option to your lock screen. The last thing we'll talk about is uh, note settings. Once a note is opened, you can tap on the three dots in the upper right corner to get to the note settings where you'll find a number of new options. You can see recent notes, which displays several of your prior notes for quick access. There's also an arrow for uh, math results where you can go in and either uh, check off insert results, suggested results, which is what is uh, the default setting, or if you want to, you can turn that feature off 
completely. Now, the rest of the note settings um, that are listed there are basically the previous settings that we had access to. So go into the note settings and just check out the new features. The Notes app in iOS 18 has taken a huge leap forward with these exciting new features, from solving math equations with ease to recording and transcribing audio, collapsing sections, and adding colorful highlights. There's something for everyone. Whether you're on an iPhone or iPad, these updates make Notes more powerful and versatile than ever before. Let me know in the comments which new notes feature you're most excited to try. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.